Good morning, beautiful people. Listen, today is prayer day, and I know that you cannot see me. But trust me, it is okay. Because I'm up early in the morning because of what God has done in me. And we're going to seek him early in the morning. So I come to you to pray because it is pray day. And even when that deposit hits your account, you don't have to watch the deposit hit your account. You just have to feel it. And I believe that you're getting ready to feel a deposit hit your soul and your spirit and your mind and your body as we go to the Lord in prayer. So Father, in the name of Jesus, touch every person who is under the sound of my voice. Hear every need that they have. Meet every need that they have, oh God. Feel every need that they have, oh God. Loose what needs to be loose, God. Bind what needs to be bind, oh God, in the name of Jesus. For you said, whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven, and whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. So God, we ask for your power. We ask for your glory to show forth. And everything that we do, God, Father, lead us and guide us by your spirit. Let your spirit be the foundation of every way and everything that we move in. Oh, God, Father, continue to submit us to your will and let your will guide our hearts. Let your will guide our directions. Let your will guide our decisions so that we may glorify you in everything that we do, in our thoughts, in our hearts and in the way that we govern ourselves, God. Father, keep us in your peace. Let your peace that surpasses all understanding establish us in every good thing. Father, we need you more now than we have ever needed you. Father, we need you to move in a new way, move in a greater way, move in a more powerful way in us, not in the situations around us, but in us. Let it be us, God, that gets changed. Let it be us, God, that defines our environment. Let it be us, God, that creates the environment from the change that you have created in us. Father, we need you. We desire you. We want you to show yourself in us. Let when others experience us, that they experience you. Father, for those who don't know you, for those who don't desire to know you, God, I ask that you would prick their hearts. God, I ask that you would move in a new way in them. Father, open up their minds, soften their hearts, oh God. Replace their heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh, God. In the glorious name of Jesus, Father, we proclaim you as Lord because we know that, God, you can do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask or think. God, prepare the young leaders in this nation. Prepare the young leaders abroad. Father, for we know that you are raising up a remnant of people that are going to be coming and running after you with a fire more prevalent than ever. God, you are doing a new thing. And no matter the confrontation, let those whom you have called submit to the plan, the purpose, and your will for their life. Father, we are here for it. And we just want to see your will and your way be done here on the earth. God, if you're doing a new thing, do it in me. Let it begin in me first. I want to be the change that you want to establish here on the earth. So God, I am here and I'm open and let those who are listening be here and be open to what you are going to do in the earth, in this season, in this time. For God, you are mighty. You are strong. You are powerful. There is none like you. And so, Father, we just want you to have your way. Have your way with our finances. Have your way with our relationships. Have your way with our ministries. Have your way in these leaders, these new leaders, these old leaders. Continue to open up the windows of heaven for restoration. God, continue to grant vision and success to those who pursue in faith. 
for those who pursue with boldness, with joy, with gladness. Father, continue to grant clear vision and insight and revelation to your people. Cause us to continue to submit to you in prayer so that your power may go forth because we need your power <clears throat> to move in accordance with your will and to establish your plan in our lives. For it is your power that breaks the stronghold of any demonic forces. It is your power that breaks the chains, God. It is your power that governs us, God. It is your power that holds everything in this world together. It is by your power and your principle that we stand. It is by your power and your principle that we submit. And it is by your power and your principle that we move. So God, continue to work in us and continue to have your way in us. And let those who are confused, God, cry out with their own voice saying, no matter how I may feel and no matter what I may be experiencing, God, let your will be done in me, in my life, and in my situation. So, Father, we submit to you. We glorify you. We bow to you. Because you are good, you are mighty, you are Lord of all. And you are above all. We submit our time to you, God. We just desire to have a greater relationship with you, God. For without you, we could do nothing. But with you, we can do all things. So we love you. We submit to you. We bow to you. We extol your holy name. We adore you and we worship you. Let everyone who has heard this prayer, God, receive a deposit in their soul, in their spirit, in their body right now, God. Let them feel your power like never before. Let them experience your grace and your favor as they move throughout their day, as they move throughout their week. Let everything that they do be established in accordance with your will. And let it be established by two or three witnesses. Let someone come to confirm what you have already said to them. Let someone come to affirm who you have called them to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. We love you, Lord. We adore you. We magnify you. We honor you. We praise your holy name. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. And if you believe this prayer, and if you receive this prayer, come on and type hallelujah and share this with someone who is looking for God to move. Be obedient and follow his command. Love you.